This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Chennai Super Kings is finally back to its winning ways. Will this be a new beginning in this tournament for them? Good evening, I'm Sai Manish. You're watching News Tonight. Before that, let's take a look at the headlines. The Super Kings finally end their four-match losing streak, but will they be able to stick to their winning ways? Get ready to pay more for filling up petrol and diesel from tomorrow, all in the name of cleaner and greener fuel. <laughs> Karnanidhi responds to Sun Alagiri's succession interview, says the entire party should decide its next leader. Right now, there does not seem to be any succession issue at all, and he is alive and kicking. He has said that to the effect. <laughs> Lawyers attack the prime accused hey! in the fake drug case at the Ekmo court. After an earthquake scare, NDTV Hindu does a reality check about how prepared are the people of the city for another seismic shock. A great moment in the history for science as the scientists at CERN create another big bang in the search for the God Particle. Well, Chennai Super Kings have won their first match after the four-match losing streak. That's there on this IPL segment. Well, a huge sense of relief there for CSK. They've defeated the much fancy Royal Challengers Bangalore by five wickets in an IPL match at the Chidambaram Stadium here on here. In fact, just a short while back, they snatched up a stunning victory, riding high on an uncharacteristically aggressive knock of 78 of 39 balls from opener Murli Vijay, which included six massive sixes. The Super Kings successfully chased down RCB's total with an over to spare. Vijay and Matthew Hayden gave Chennai an explosive start. Mostly due to Vijay's brilliance, Hayden looked out of sorts and was stumped off Kumble's bowling in the seventh over. Vijay's departure, though, did not stop the CSK from claiming a morale-boosting victory, with Suresh Raina's 45 seeing the home team through. And we were earlier joined by K. Srinath, who gave us his thoughts on the win by CSK. IPL first season, CSK were in a spot of bother and were in a very similar situation to this, and they pulled off close to six victories in the last seven games, and they made it to the final in that edition. I think this is just a beginning. I always thought that CSK was too good a side to be kept out uh, of the winning ways for a long period. But today they proved what a side they could be. Up front started off well with the bowling and fielding, chased it down well, and uh, hats off to Dhoni and his men. The sources were marshaled really well today, and they beat a team which was really in form. I thought the five or six days of layoff for the RCB slightly put them on the back foot. And uh, Kublai had made a statement saying that he had a happy uh, problem with him. But I thought getting a lot of guys in, he didn't know whom to rest and whom to play in. I think that was a problem for them. End of it, back to winning ways. <coughs> I think Chennai Super Kings will look forward to carry this momentum ahead in this tournament. Uh, Vijay, over a period of time, has been a terrific uh, run getter for Tamil Nadu. He's really played uh, very well in the one day format. He's had a couple of very good performances in the challenges also. He's really tailor made for the Test match cricket, but he's got the aggression to. Uh, uh, you know, matches a uh, longer version of the game also. But today he proved his detractors wrong. It was a fantastic uh, innings he played and I think uh, his uh, innings was the platform that was set up for CSK for this fantastic victory today. Well, lawyers in Chennai are known for their unruly behaviour but a rogue mob of lawyers today took indecency to a new low. Today they attacked a man accused of trading in discarded medicine. Minakshi Sundaram was assaulted when he was being produced at the court in Egmo, our crime reporter Salim has the details. Meenakshi Sundaram was on the run ever since police uncovered trading in medicine with expired dates. When he was brought to the Egmo court, lawyers said they would not represent him. When Sundaram was produced before the magistrate, the lawyers attacked him. Hey! 
கஸ்டடிக்கு வரும்பொழுது நாங்கள் எழும்பு நீதிமன்ற வழக்கறிஞர் சங்கம் சார்பாக எந்த வழக்கறிஞரும் எதிரிகள் சார்பாக ஆஜராகக்கூடாது என்பதை நாங்கள் கண்டனத்தின் மூலம் தீர்மானம் நிறைவேற்றி யாரையும் நாங்கள் ஆஜராக விடவில்லை After Sundaram was denied anticipatory bail 4 days ago he gave himself up before the court in Georgetown the police say he should be in their custody for interrogation to unravel the illegal train you know he is a distributor illa yeah. so state full la enga engala idu supply pannirukanga indha mari expired medicines enna apdi edala investigate pannom means point maradi time pathona maradi court la kettu maradi instance vaanguvom you know rendu per thalaivar irupanga sanjay kumar apdi nu oruthrom adhu illama inno oruthr baskar apdi nu solradu The government of Tamil Nadu has appealed to the people not to panic over the circulation of discarded medicine that could be harmful. It has assured that steps have been taken to stop their sale. In Chennai with camera person Raja Singh and reporter Salim Avinash for NDTV Hindu. Now last night tremors were felt in parts of the city after an earthquake of moderate intensity struck near the Andaman Islands in the Indian Ocean. Salim finds out more about the threat of such seismic tremors and how prepared are we in the city to deal with such shocks in the future. As an earthquake struck 135 kilometers from Port Blair, the capital city of Andaman Islands in the Indian Ocean Tuesday night, tremors were felt in Chennai. People in Tinagar and Nungambakkam spoke of their experience. <laughs> ரொம்ப <laughs> 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 and destroyed property worth millions of rupees experts say far off places like chennai experience the effects due to loose soil clay and shallow waters an earthquake of moderate intensity of 6.8 in richter scale occurred at 2225 that is 1025 ist chennai city is within seismic zone 3 but research suggests that the city must be placed between zones 3 and 4 which means seismic activity is higher in the area than previously believed experts say aftershocks could become a regular occurrence in and around chennai but they've ruled out a serious threat or a tsunami in chennai with reporters minal nitila and salim jason tosh for ndtv hindu well coming up on the other side the government of tamil nadu announces dates for counseling for engineering students stay with us